What's going on guys, Jim the Game Guru. Okay, let's do upgrade. We're gonna upgrade Wingspan. And what's the best way to upgrade, upgrade Wingspan? To get the expansions, the European expansion and the Oceanic expansion. And on top of that, I went ahead and I got a, some wooden inserts. So we're gonna take we have organizers for Wingspan the game. It's going to be all wooden inserts in there. And then on top of that, we have a wooden dice tower, which is absolutely super, super cool. So I'm going to dive into that. So I'm going to show you guys the expansions for Wingspan, the current ones that are out. And then I'm going to shove them all in the same box. I'm going to put them in the new organizer so you can see the new organizer. I'm going to take... The, the, the Wingspan game, which is heavy. If you guys already own Wingspan, you know how heavy the Wingspan game is. There's so many parts in it, so heavy. I'm gonna take that from its current weight to like a cement block. That's probably how heavy it's gonna be after all of this upgrades. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing or following. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and dig in. Let's tear into the European expansion first. Let's see what yummy, delicious, morsely stuff we have in here. Okay, so the manual for this is just like the base Wingspan game where it feels really, really good. It's got like those nice little bumps. Absolutely, absolutely love that. Let's see what we got. And of, go of course, beautiful artwork as always. Just gorgeous. And this goes into all of the new powers. And so you get more of these kind of containers for eggs and stuff like that. I will, won't need these because uh, I'm gonna use my um, new wooden organizers that I'm gonna be putting into place. So these will probably be shoved aside somewhere. Maybe I'll use them on a different board game or something. Okay, so we have more eggs. We have purple, beautiful purple eggs. Let's see what else. See if I can kind of move this around in a good spot here. Uh, we've got bird cards. So before I get into the bird cards, see what else we have. Uh, some promotional crap. Uh, a new pad, scoring pad there. And what else do we have here? And then another container for cards. And then obviously the top is where you can layer three cards out. Uh, again, with this, I'm probably gonna be replacing this with the wooden card storage that I'm going to be putting into my game. Okay, what do we got here? And we got more tokens. Yay. More tokens. This is your food stuff supply for the birds. And then we have additional, I think those are the gold tokens. Um, perfect. So, awesome. Let's go ahead and put that down. Okay, so a bunch of new birds, as you can see here, pretty big, thick, juicy stack. Look at that. Awesome. All right, let's go through here. Let's see what we got. I mean, I'm not going to show every single bird because it'll take forever to do that. So a lot of hawks and swans, whatever a partridge is, a rough. That looks cool. Short tree keeper. Okay. Some owls. Oh, and that's the owl that's on the cover, a snowy owl. Let's see what else we have. Uh, white stork. Then a bunch of birds. Oh, it looks like we got some more of these cards too. Bonus cards. So let's go ahead and put the bonus cards aside. And I'm not sure what this is here. Uh, let me put this aside too. These might be with the single player mode because there's a single player mode that you can uh, actually play in Wingspan and they have additional cards. So we've got Crow. Blackbird, Buzzard. Wow, a lot of cards. Kingfisher, Little Bird, Bittern. So many birds I have never ever heard of ever in my entire life. Eagle, Falcon, a Dove. It's kind of cool looking. Ooh, I love that Oreo. That looks awesome. Jaybird, Magpie. And I think, the, I don't know if this is a new ability, I can't tell, once between turns. I'm trying to remember if there was that in the base game, a once be turn, between turns ability. 
But that's really neat if there isn't. I like how they've added that, if that's the case. There you go. Vulture. Ooh, that's cool. A crow that's white and black. That's awesome. Owls, a tit, a long-tailed tit. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig into the Oceana one now. This one has, is a little bit more substantial. It's got some some meat to it. Again, the, oh, here you go, the Autom uh, Automa it rules. So there's an, expan an expansion to that, which is a single player version of the game. Uh, and here we go with the, the main expansion manual. And just like the base manual and just like the European expansion, I, again, the manual is beautifully printed, has that nice feel to it. And this one, I believe, has a new food type. It's called Nectar, yes. Nectar is a new food type that you can actually add to your game. This will also replace your existing board player mats. Your existing player boards will be replaced with new ones because they have to account for the new type of food. Right? Okay, so here are the cards. Before we dig into these cards, I'm going to show you guys the other stuff here. Like We got some beautiful eggs again. So we got purple eggs from the European, and now we got some yellow eggs from this one. The dice, they have changed, right? Because of the new food type. So now you have new dice to use. Uh, scoring pad, here we go. A new scoring pad here. This game is supposed to have a lot of expansions in the future. I can't remember how many they said they were gonna do, but they were gonna do a ton. I'm really wondering how all the changes are gonna come, uh, what's gonna happen in the, from the very beginning game that we have to the very end with the very last expansion, because this one is already changing the base game significantly with new boards and new food type. So here we go, new food type, the nectar. We got some additional tokens for the round goals right there. Let's take a look at the new player boards. Here we go. This is what the new player board looks like. And you can see they have the nectar symbol on there. So a lot of these slots, you'll see the nectar's food type on there. The other thing you'll notice is that the artwork in the back in the background has changed as well. I'm not sure how I feel about the artwork on this board. I mean, it still looks nice, but I feel like, I don't know, for me personally, I feel like the artwork on the original board is just a little better. But still, it's good, it looks nice. Um, I'm sure some other people out there are probably gonna be like, no, 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 this expansion player board looks much better as far as the artwork. But I personally feel like the original artwork was better. Okay, so there you go. You get a, a new board for every single player. Let's go ahead and dig into these cards. Let's see what new... Yeah, so this game, as far as cards, it's expanding considerably. I mean, it, it's like it's so many birds in this game. It's ridiculous. And this is just going to make it even more along with the European one. Okay, another thick stack. Let's take a look at some of these birds. Now, a lot of these birds will have the different type of food type, right? The nectar. Got another, some more eagles. Heron, wagtail. Wow, nightjar. These birds look so damn beautiful. This is a game end ability. Discard one egg from each bird in this row and column that has an egg on it. Excluding this bird, for each discarded egg, cash two wheat from the supply on this bird. Wow, so you have the in-between turns, and now you have some game-end abilities. I don't remember the game-end abilities in the, uh, in the base game, but th then again, there's so many cards, so many abilities, so many this and that in this game, that I don't know, I mean, I can't remember everything. Here's some more bonus cards. Some more autonomous cards. We'll go ahead and put that down. Uh, what is this? Spent Nectar Collection. At the start of the game, place three, five, three, four, five Nectar in each box. Okay, interesting. Let's go into more into these birds. Beautiful birds, oh, beautiful birds. That one's like a parakeet, yeah. 
Cockatiel. Ooh, I love the way that one looks. Holy cow, that one's beautiful. Count Raggy's Bird of Paradise. Huh. Oh, an emu. An emu made it. Goose. Okay. So many birds. This is insane. Oh, a penguin. Look at that. That is so cool. That is awesome. So maybe they're going to do an expansion for every part of the world. I mean, that's my guess, like all the different continents or something. And you have Europe, Oceania. I wonder if they're going to do one like in the Antarctic region. And they'll have like uh, the, those, those the big giant penguins. That would be awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna dig into the organizational bit on the box. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change out all of the internal components to use the wooden boxes here. So I've got these wooden boxes and I actually got them from the Ship Shape Gamer. And this is kind of what's supposed to look like in the box. But yeah, they have really, really cool. Look at these, all this for organizing the game. And each one of these boxes has like a different kind of a, a bird on it. And this is all wooden, which is absolutely beautiful. And on top of that, the default cardboard dice tower that was in the game, I'm swapping that out for this. A really beautiful wooden. And actually I haven't glued this top yet. So I need, I need to get some wood glue to glue this to the top but a, a beautiful wooden dice tower that is just like the base cardboard one, but it has a little bit more of like intricacies to it. As you can see here, it's engraved inside the wood. And it's just, and yes, there's a woodpecker right there. It'll just look how nice that is. And it feels so good. This is what I wish the base game came with. I wish it came with the wooden dice tower. I really, I mean, even though the, the cardboard one looks okay, I feel this makes it the game feel so much more premium and it feels really, really solid. And yes, this woodpecker here, right here, this woodpecker actually, you see that? You see how it moves? It will actually move up and down like that when you're rolling the dice into the dice tower. So as they fall through and come down, this woodpecker is going to go pop, 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 pop. It's really, really cool design. I absolutely love it. Now, these components from Ship Shape Gamer, they are not cheap. I'm not gonna lie to you. They are not cheap at all. The in this this the insert here for the organization, these pieces, and I have additional ones for like a bunch of them that are this is for the food, as you can see there. So one for nectar, one for the rats. Um, but there are a bunch of these boxes. Now this is, this. it's not cheap. This base, this is the cheapest one that I went with as far as the, the organizer, and that was about 30 some dollars. The more expensive, if I, if I didn't go for this type of wood, if I wanted, if I went for like the maple or some of the other wood for the organizer, it would have been like $80 for the organizer. Now this here, I spent for the wooden dice tower, I spent about $30 for this one because it's the maple one. If you go for the one with this wood, it would have been about $18 for the cheaper one. So yeah, so this stuff is not cheap, but I decided to go for it because the game is awesome. The game is beautiful. It's got beautiful components. It's got beautiful manual. Everything is so beautiful. So why not upgrade the game to have a better wooden organizer inside of it and on top of that have a wooden dice tower. I just felt like you have all these beautiful components and then you have like, it just looks like crap inside the box and the dice tower didn't feel so good. So let's do a quick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a quick snapshot of what the internal of the box looks like before I show you what the box looks like after it's been organized, okay? So let's go ahead and open this. <laughs> All right, so keep this in mind right here. Keep this in mind. Take a look. This is what the game looks like organized right now with the plastic or containers and the cardboard dice tower. This is how it looks like together, everything, right? And then 
So I'm gonna give you one or two more seconds to take a look at it. Get this mental picture in your mind right here, right now. And then after this, right after this, I'm gonna show you what it looks like all together with the new wooden organizer. All right, so after we went ahead and pulled everything out and reorganized everything with the new wooden organizers from Shipshape Gamers, and there you go, check your look. Look how beautiful that is. Let me see if I can bring it up a little bit. I mean, look at that. Look how beautiful. Nice and organized and looks premium now. It matches the internal components of the game, the, the artwork, everything. Now everything just flows together and just looks fantastic. I had to pull the woodpecker off of the uh, wooden the wooden dice tower because it won't, it, the, the, the lid of the box won't shut when the woodpecker's like this. So you just have to pull it off, put the woodpecker flat like that, but everything just fits nice and like all the eggs are in here. Uh, all the food are in there, all the cards are in these components. And then underneath these, I have another wooden component here. And then here's where all of the dice and the general components that the, the, the little wooden tokens you use on the board, on your player boards, um, all of that stuff and all the round tokens are inside that. Underneath all of this, you're gonna have your five player mats like normal, uh, but I'm using the Oceana ones in here now because I don't need the ones that came with the base game. So the Oceana ones have the nectar, like I said earlier, and all the manuals are underneath. And yes, now after it's been all organized, it is heavy, way heavier than the game ever was. It's like a, it's like a weapon. I, I could throw this at somebody and kill them. It's just, it's so heavy now, but it looks gorgeous. And now this entire wingspan game with all the expansions together in one box just looks premium and that is it so as you can see now we can go ahead and close this and it should close just beautifully if i can get this the right way there you go you close that and boom everything together and that's it guys those are the expansions for wingspan those are the wooden organizer i have from ship shape gamer until the next video, I will see you guys later. If you guys like the video, please like. And if you're new here, please subscribe or follow. And I will see you guys later. Bye.